Hello, one and all, friends, uh, well, friends, I hope. Today we're looking at the YSG poll results and looking forward to KVK, which begins in just six short hours. First of all, then, let's look at those pre-KVK scores. We are barring some sort of miracle or bizarre disaster. Well, there's going to be no miracle or disaster. We're going to finish third, which means we shall get our all damage plus 1%, which is not as good as all damage plus 2%, not as good as all damage plus 3%, but better than gathering speed plus 15%. Weirdly enough, <laughs> the ranks denote the quality of the result. Individually, uh, where are we? Probably about 150th, 165th which means we shall get two gold heads, which is absolutely fine. Didn't really expect any more. I thought I might be able to push into the top 100 at one point, but uh, it was not to be. So we'll get ourselves two gold heads, which, you know, that's two days work. Not bad at all. We have been closing the gap on second and first, but the second stage put us very firmly in third position. If you remember, we ended stage one in first position, but you know, the training day always is the one that dictates it. We had the 58 whales coming through, as you'd expect. The top five players are all 58, which is as I predicted, but I didn't predict 60 to do such a strong showing on day two. So a fair play to them. Ooh, our, our old friend Legend Nuke trained a lot of troops. Yeah, fair play to 60. They are justifiable holders of position two. We're still doing the Marauder Forts. <clears throat> Excuse me. I completed my personal 40 Marauder Forts, but I'm still doing them because it's the best way at the moment of uh, of gathering those books, which are so hard to come by. How are we doing at the moment? Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Just another seven levels after this one. It's going to be a long road. Thank you so much to everyone who voted on the last video or made their opinions known. It was actually a lot closer than I thought. I thought most people would say, get YSG. You know you want to, buddy. And most people did, but a lot of people quite rightly pointed out that YSG was, you know, good for Christmas, uh, but maybe not thereafter. A lot of people contacted me in game as well to say I'd get YSG if I were you. So I am going to listen to the masses. One of the main reasons why was <clears throat> that I'm going archers and archers are only unlocked in the wheel at the end of KVK3. As I've just found out on my main, you can't get them really in time to do anything in the third KVK. So with that in mind... I really feel I need a YSG to actually do something for the first three Kingdom versus Kingdom fracas. Otherwise, we're just going to be sitting there saying, well, it'd be nice to fight, but it looks like we're getting smashed again, so I am going to go for it. Also, I tested out YSG a little compared to Zug. Bizarrely enough, a max YSG with a double relic is better than a 5-5-1-1 Zug. Soon we'll have a testing against the 5-5-5-1 Zug, but... Predict Zoog will probably come out on top there, but it'll be close. Basically, YSG, GOAT. Good now, good later. Not as good later, but good enough that time, effort, and heads invested in YSG isn't a huge waste. So I set myself a target. I set myself many targets. I think my last one was 14.5 million to go into KVK. We're going in with a healthy, let's say, 15.5 million. I could push further. I have quite a lot of speed. It's not, not a huge amount, but certainly enough to push let's say 2 million power if I really wanted to see how my dear friend Hisoka's doing he's on 17 million as well so he's probably got some speed as well I could probably catch that level but I don't see any point we don't we have a troop training thing today which I'll make sure I go for I think yeah, the one I was on Lord of War I'll make sure I get that to the max level of this I won't be going for the top 10 uh, the top 100, there's no real point in that. I don't see the top 100 as a, a good way of using my speed ups on the whole, unless I really want to push for it. I'm also not going to go for MG, so I may, in the future I will be, but it's the ones, the technology, and well, mainly the technology, that's where I'm going to be using the bulk of my speed ups for now. I won't be using any universals for troop power because, hey, we're only going to have one good march. As long as we've got, how many troops do we have now? Yeah, we have 238,000 Tier 4 archers. It's good enough. We'll lose a few in KVK. There'll be a load injured all the time, but as long as we have like 260, 270,000 on the books, we're going to be okay. We're going to be one march fighting for the bulk of it. My infantry march is non existent. We have. Where is he? Have this lad. Paired with either Ethel or 
Bjorn, neither of whom are in a good fighting position, so I'm just going to be sticking with my Thutmose and YSG, which I'm now definitely going to get as and when he comes. So let's, we ended on 15.5 million power before KVK1. We could push further, but let's leave it there for now. As I said, KVK is starting in six hours. Yeah, six hours, just under six hours. I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. I've had uh, apologies for perhaps the lack of videos, the uh, the slowdown, and there's been some stuff going on in real life at the moment, which has inhibited my playing time. So I'm not doing, not pushing as well as I'd like to be off oh, so many horses. Why all horses? Never mind. So we've perhaps left a bit of power on the table here, but I'm hoping when KVK starts that I can push right on and really bring to you by the videos the joy of the first KVK, my favourite one in the game, the one where you don't have all the cross-season players coming around, ruining it with all their massive 5 March excellence troops. That's just one March, everyone, some Tier 5 players, let's get used to it. It's going to be a strong battle for us against the top two ranked, the bottom two against the top two. But you never know with these things. It all depends on fighting prowess. And there's no real uh, no real way of testing that out without going on the battlefield and seeing it. A few things I wanted to touch on before the video is out. Firstly, we're keeping a lot of resources in stock for when we inevitably have to do some power healing here. Got a decent supply here, but they're going to be used for the most part on researchers. We're making sure we get all of our military research to a fightable level. I'd get bogged into eight. I think this one's four, four, five. This one's five, 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 which is good enough for now. I'm still going to be doing the economic as and when, but I think despite my previous protestations, the military technology is going to be more important for us as we try and post a decent kill point score. And what is a decent kill point score? Well, you get different awards in KBK for how many troops of enemy kingdoms you slightly wound, no, you severely wound or kill. I think it goes 5 million, 10, 15, and 25. Realistically, we're not going to get 25. Realistically, we're not going to get yeah, 15 either. 10 is going to be a push as a tier 4 single march free-to-play player. So I'm hoping for 5 million as a Starting point, 5 million severely wounded and killed. I don't know exactly how many kill points that transpires to, but in terms of kill points, I'm looking to end KVK with kill points higher than my power. I would say 20 million seems a reasonable thing. I'll probably be 21, 22 million by the time KVK ends is my prediction. I just want to make sure my kill points are higher than my power. I'm sure we can come back to this when I failed to do so and laugh at me, but for now that's my goal. We still have no additional archer things. Been had no real luck from the crystal chests. Alas, but we will see. We'll see if we start getting lucky. I forget exactly the KVK reward. There may be some, uh, maybe some archer blueprints, purple archer blueprints. If so, probably not enough to build stuff with. We do have, I'll tell you what we do have. We have a hunt for history at the moment. Hmm, that's interesting because I usually save uh, save two Hunt for Histories. You get a maximum of 30 of these bad boys. 30 hammers, where can I see how you get them from? Here we go, Archaeological Dig. Each time the this comes along, you get a maximum of 30 hammers, but you can amass them. So if I don't use them this time, I still have 30 hammers. The next time the Hunt for History comes, I'll have 30 hammers to play with. Plus the 30 then, and I can go with 60. It might be advantageous for me to go all in on one of these things, but realistically, I'm 30 hammers probably gets you three levels if you're lucky. You can purchase them, but I really don't want to be spending gems to get myself some purple blueprints, especially with only VIP 10. We've only got a level 17 castle. We have plenty of buildings. We need to get to 25. So I might give this one a miss and just amass the blueprints. Before I commit to that though let's just see how many of the blueprints we have for the relevant things no golden age which is the one i'd want so instead we have uh sorry let me just check old thutters we have the revival greaves and the revival plate made which means we are looking for the gauntlets and the helm in terms of that we can't have too many already Five helms, seven plates. Uh, 
with all these other plates. So I only did five helms, two gauntlets, and for each hunt for history thing, we get six, right? So yeah, we need to get four floors of the helm. No, we need to get five floors of the helm. So we have five of them. So yeah, it doesn't seem particularly worth it to me. Yeah, we've already got the, the leg one. So like I said, I will be saving the hunt for history. It's a really good event. Free to play or pay to win. But if you're free to play, you kind of have to amass them slowly. Nothing here of particular note. The Golden Kingdom is a great one. It's difficult for me at the moment, but floor eight. I'm level 25 City Hall, which means the enemies are tough. I get to floor eight. I'll consider it a win, which is where we are at at the moment with the account of these paltry beginnings from which, though, we will build a T5 empire in the very distant future. I believe the record for getting tier 5 is about 100 days from now. We're on the 85 of the kingdom. People get tier 5 in 6 months. We're not going to be able to do that. I'm hoping 250 days. There we go. That's that's my aim. 250 days I want to get tier 5. I can't have too many days like the last two. I really haven't had time to play. There's been stuff going on. But it's an aim I've got. Let's see if we can get it. Thanks again to everyone who uh, responded and interacted on the last video about YSG. Really helpful for me to hear other people's thoughts. If you suggested that I don't get him, apologies for ignoring your ooh, get in there. Apologies for ignoring your advice. It was just the it was just I, I went with the numbers. I went with the numbers and sheer amount of people who were saying, yeah, YSG is probably what you need to get. Anyway, the last KVK Lus video, KVK starts tomorrow. Might be back in the evening, so I'll try and release a video tomorrow or the day after so we can see day one of KVK, look for all the objectives, aim for what we're going to get. But the rune fighting starts in a good old while, I would, of course, be doing that so we can see how we actually do in combat. After all this setup, there's no point if we're useless in combat. Until next time, my friend, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the flip side.